I just want to show you one way to figure out the heights of your trimmers, where to land your rough openings, um, your rough sill, all that for a window. Uh, windows are typically more complicated than a door because you have your rough sill in there. Um, now what, what this is for is so a typical, well the full height wall we'll call 8 foot 1 inch. Okay, now typically you put your header right at the top, right underneath your top plate and your cap plate. And that's because, let's say your total wall height's 8 foot 1. So you lose 3 inches there for your two plates. If you're using a 2 by 10 header, you're, you're losing another 9. And then you're losing an inch and a half for that. So right off the bat, you're losing at least a foot, right? So a foot from the ceiling is the top of your window. So that'd be seven feet. And then if you have a three foot window, that means it's four feet off of the ground, which is actually, it's a good height, it could be lower. It, and it just depends on the size of your windows, right? But typically for an eight foot wall, your header just goes right up at the top of your studs, let's say. So these one is actually fairly easy to figure out the height of your trimmer. Um, oh, and before I forget, your header, they, depending on the code and what province or state you're in uh, depends on you know the clear span of the window and the weight loads and snow loads of the roof and everything so you want to double check to make sure that you have a big enough header for your window or your door so just always uh, keep the code uh, so let's let's say for example this is your stud the full length of that is 92 and 5 eighths. Okay. You know that the header is going at the top of the wall. So what you do is you measure down whatever size of header, like we're using a 2 by 10 like this example. You measure down from the top of your stud down the 9 and a quarter is typical. And just measure the material that you have. So you measure down let's just put header so that's nine and a quarter then your filler is another inch and a half that goes right there so then you have an inch and a half so nine and a quarter that's ten and a quarter ten and three quarters and if you just mark it all out Then what you can do is just measure from the bottom of your stud this way to the bottom of your filler and that's what your trimmer height is and you can see by the, the picture here that the trimmer fits underneath the filler. Now the other thing you can do is to figure out the heights of your cripples. Then what you do is, okay so in this in this uh, scenario, we have the windows 59 by 38 and a quarter. And then in order to make the rough opening, you have to add 3 eighths all the way around. So 3 eighths here, 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 here. So my rough opening will be 59 and 3 quarters by 39. Okay? Now the 39 is my height. So then, since I have this laid out on my stud, I measure down from the bottom of this, down 39 inches, make a mark, and then my X or my rough sill goes there. Okay, so this is the height of the opening, the rough sill goes there, and then once again I measure from the bottom of my stud to the bottom side of my rough sill, and that's whatever the measurement is, and then you can cut all your cripples for that. Um, once you do that, you know where to nail everything, you know the lengths of everything, so it's just a, a good way to do it.